This time we're going to answer a new question which was asked by one of our followers. This one is again on understanding VOR receivers and their behavior. So let's not waste any time and get straight to it. As I said, we're going to take a question asked by a student to get another look at how we at Pilot Training Solutions look at VORs and how to navigate, track, and intercept to them. Nearly every book or software out there gives the same explanation. Needle goes left, uh, you go left, the needle goes right, you go right. That is if you're flying the same heading uh, as the top of the OBS. Otherwise, you want reverse sensing, so either flip the OBS selection to the reciprocal, or if the needle goes left, then you go right, and vice versa. Uh, anyone find that confusing? Because I sure did as a student, and surely found it even harder to teach. So let's take a look again at our method. As pilots, or even student pilots, you should probably be familiar with cardinal directions. We at Pilot Training Solutions like to teach as much as possible using what you already know and applying that to hard concepts students need to learn or master. So instead of using left and right, let's use east and west. Let's say you're flying to the station on a heading of north, so 360 is your OBS selection, we have a 2 indication, the needle is centered, and we're actually heading north on the heading indicator. For some reason, the needle starts to drift to the left, without the pilot noticing. This could be either because we forgot to realign the heading indicator with the compass, or there is a crosswind component drifting the airplane off course. As we keep drifting to the new position, the needle will swing to the opposite side of where we are drifting towards. In this case, we have a wind from the west side, pushing us to the east. And we'll confirm the wind in just a few moments. After, say, a couple of minutes, we finally notice that the needle is not centered anymore. What should we do to bring the needle back to the center? Turn left? In this case, yes. But what if we were flying from the station and forgot to switch the OBS to the reciprocal? Well, using our method, it really makes no difference. What you need to do is find a cardinal direction on the side where the needle is and correct your heading towards it. In this case, we find west on the side of the needle. So what we need to do in both inbound and outbound cases is correct our heading towards the west. Let's say 30 degrees. So on the inbound, we will choose 330 as a heading and on the outbound, a heading of 210. In both these cases, the needle will start to center again. No left, no right, no reverse sensing. As I said before, the wind was from the west side because we had to correct to the west, and you always correct into the wind. To make it easy, the wind direction is on whatever side the needle swings to. So if the needle swings to the west, the wind is a westerly wind. If the needle swings to the east, the wind is an easterly wind. Moral of the story, flying headings instead of left and right is not only a better way of tracking and intercepting to VORs, it is also much easier to understand and execute. And again, if you would rather memorize all the questions and answers on the tests, then you should probably not waste any time with our software. But if you would like to ace the knowledge test by learning the material inside and out, then we're definitely what you're looking for. Call us toll free at one eight five five pass fa or visit us at passfaexams.com and see what we're talking about. Till next time, happy flying and blue skies from Pilot Training Solutions.